What's up YouTube, back with another video, and today we're going to go over the point freelance and how you can use it to get some open threes as well as expose people who play off ball defense. And this is the only freelance video I was planning on making because this is the only one I used. I haven't really used any other freelances this year, so I had a lot of footage on the point freelance, so I figured I'd make a video. And we're going to start off in scrimmage mode so I can show off all the branches, and then I'm going to show some gameplay against real people in play now online. So let's get into it if you don't know how to call a freelance i'll leave a link to a video that i made but right now we're just gonna start with the description of the point freelance so the negatives lots of quick perimeter shots this is true so if you have guards and wings that can't shoot this is not a good freelance to run also if you have a dominant big man that you want to play through this is not the freelance to run also all interior offense created off guards driving ability this is true so if you have perimeter players that can shoot but can't necessarily drive and finish at the rim then getting baskets at the rim could be kind of hard with this freelance positives quick hitting spread offense for perimeter scorers this is true you'll get a lot of three-point opportunities with this freelance also the floor is spread so if you do have wings that can both shoot and drive you can get a good amount of baskets at the rim because the opposing center is being taken away from the basket so he's not always in the best position to help and you see it says best for perimeter scoring threats and the example they give is chris paul james harden so you can tell 2k just literally copied and pasted this from last year because they're not on the same team anymore but you get the idea. I've used this with the Nets, and this was before the season started, so Kevin Durant was still in the lineup. Also, Kyrie Irving, Joe Harris. I've used it with the Warriors, Steph, Clay, D'Angelo Russell. Um, the Trailblazers can also be a good team to use this with, you know, with Lillard, McCollum, Melo, Rodney Hood before he got injured. Those were just a few examples, but there are plenty more teams that you can run this freelance with. So now we're going to get into the branches, and if we bring the ball up to the middle of the court, you'll see one of two actions. The first one would be a double screen action to get your corner man a open three on the wing, as you can see right here with Jason Tatum. And if he's not open for the three, just hold the ball and the freelance will go into a side pick and roll, as you can see in these two clips with Gordon Haywood. The second thing that will happen if you bring the ball up the middle would be you would pass it to one of the wings and then your corner man will run through two screens but this time he'll come up to the top of the key. Now, me personally, I prefer to bring the ball up on one of the wings because it eliminates all of the extra passing and it gets straight into that double screen action. Another reason why I like bringing the ball up on the wing is because I get more control over who I want to shoot the ball. So right here, I have Tatum and Hayward in each corner. So those are the two options that I have on who I want shooting the ball. So right here, I wanted Hayward to shoot the ball. So what I did was I went to the wing opposite of him and then I just let the freelance run. Now, as I showed in the beginning, if you're not open for the three, the play goes into, well, the freelance goes into a side pick and roll. But what I like to do is drive down the middle of the court. And a lot of times I'm able to get a dunk or a layup, especially if I'm at the top of the key, as you can see right here. Now, if the three and the drive are not available, just hold the ball and pass it off to the wing. And whoever was the one that initiated the freelance will run through like an elevator screen and come up to one of the wings. Or sometimes he'll run to the corner and try to get open for a three. But this option isn't really all that consistent. And a lot of the times, it'll leave you really far out from the three-point line. So if you have Curry or Lillard or even Trey Young, you could probably make it. Or if you're playing my 
my team and you have someone with gold or better range extender then you could probably make it but most of the time that shot's just too far to hit consistently so i don't really score from that action too much but it's still an option And the last action you'll see is um, pick and roll. And it usually happens in like semi transition. So like if you get a stop on defense and you're pushing the ball up kind of fast, but you don't necessarily have numbers, then the center will just come and set a pick for you. And you can create a shot off that, whether it's driving all the way to the rim, passing to him on a roll or finding a shooter. So those are pretty much all the branches and now we're going to get into some playing out online clips. So like I said earlier, you're going to get a lot of three point opportunities using this freelance, but you can also take advantage of people who off ball you. And it can also depend on the person too, because some people who off ball, they do a good job of paying attention to what's going on around the whole court and they play passing lanes really well. But for the most part, I feel like most people when they off ball, they just off ball on the center and they tend to ball watch. So they don't pay attention to what's going on around the court and they pretty much much just wait for you to beat the computer off the dribble so they can help and try to get a block or rebound so you could take advantage of that and one way is by getting them to commit a defensive three seconds so right here he's off balling me with Embiid and I passed the ball to the wing and called the freelance and I don't I don't know what he's doing he's just moving mad weird around the paint and he gets the defensive three seconds call he probably thought Lopez was gonna go back into the into the block but he just stays up but yeah I, I don't know what he was doing and here's another example where I'm bringing the ball up and I call my freelance but he's just off balling me with Capella and he's not really guarding anybody he's just standing in the paint doing nothing and he gets called for the defensive three so right here he's off balling me with Embiid and he's actually moving around not trying to get the defense for three seconds but I still end up with a wide open three because he's not in the right spot so I had the ball on the wing and I'm just waiting for the freelance to run and by the time Wilson Chandler gets the ball he's basically in the paint guarding nobody like he's in no man's land and there's nobody even remotely close to Wilson Chandler so I end up with a wide open three so in this clip, I'm getting off balled by Embiid again, a different Embiid. And instead of him being like at the top of the key to try to steal the pass or contest the shot or just give Tobias Harris enough time to get back in front of Klay Thompson, he doesn't do that. He tries to double team me for literally no reason. And I get a wide open shot with Klay Thompson. Now, right here in this clip, he's off balling me with Harden, and Giannis is the one to get the ball at the top. Now, he should have just stayed like around the free throw line area because Giannis isn't much of a jump shooting threat. Even though when I got this gameplay, he he had a 80 mid range and a 73 three ball. So if he left me wide open, I probably would have shot it. But as a defense, you'll live with that. So instead of him leaving space, he runs at me. So I just dribble past him, and he ends up all the way like at the three-point line and so at that point he's basically out of the play and it's pretty much a three on two Giannis Matthews and Lopez against Chandler and House now you can see House trying to help but the thing is that he's too late because with somebody like Giannis you can't be next to them or behind him because he's just gonna score you have to be in front so I'm not worried about House at this point I'm looking at Tyson Chandler and I don't know if he's gonna help or if he's gonna stay on the shooter so I go in I hop step I see him rotate out to the shooter so I dunk the ball now everything isn't always gonna work out as perfect as I've been showing and sometimes you'll have to improvise. So right here, he started out playing on ball but then he switched off on Harden as Middleton starts running up to the top. And he actually does a good job of giving enough help so that McLemore can recover and guard Middleton. So I'm not open and I don't wanna throw that pass so I just keep the ball and once Middleton gets to the top, I hold wide to send him on a manual cut. He gets in front of McLemore more and I get a layup. So those were just a few examples of how effective this freelance can be and not saying this is the best freelance out there but I like it a lot and I use it a lot and it's really effective but like I said it can get a little predictable so if you're playing against someone who does do a good job of being in the passing lanes and just paying attention you can still run this freelance but you have to improvise a lot more to get shots but can still be really good. 
So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helped you. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more content.